All right, so I'm in Highburg Forest in upstate New York right now, looking for some salamanders. It's pretty cold, it's like 50 degrees or so, but he finally got a spring salamander. Little guy here, not too big, but pretty cool. I've seen one of these guys only like 10 minutes in. And this late into the yeah. season. <laughs> Here's a little dusky salamander. Seeing a good amount of these guys, as well as two lines. They like to get real deep in the mud there. Yeah. I want to flip that wooden thing there, but I don't know if I can reach. It's so funny how lethargic they are. Like a normal dusky would be like flipping out. Like the first one was kind of not having it. Look. Ah. It's grabbing onto my finger. It's not letting go. I definitely think. Oh, I, I love you too, buddy, but you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I'll cover you. Right. Here's the second spring salamander of the day. Hello, so I'm back where a similar area to where I found the spring salamanders a few days ago. I'm gonna be targeting some more spring salamanders as well as maybe some Ford Toad salamanders and Jefferson salamanders and see what else I can turn up along the way. So I'll keep you updated. All right, here's this little spotted salamander I just found under this rock. A little dude, but there we go. A snake right there. A little two line salamander. Okay, so I actually did find a spring salamander. <laughs> it was a pretty big one, but it got away. And I searched all over around the area for it, couldn't find it, so I'm gonna keep on looking, so at least I know they're here. All right, so it's getting pretty late and it looks like it's about to rain actually, but I moved to the area where I found the spring salamanders last time, a few days ago, 
And over the course of 20 minutes, I got two new spring salamanders down here. All right, so now that I have these guys here, I'll tell you a little bit about these salamanders. So this is the northern spring salamander, which is Geronophilus porphyriticus porphyriticus. These salamanders are in the family Plethodontidae, which includes common salamanders like the redback salamander, duskies, m most common woodland salamanders. Now, what's interesting about these guys is, so they live in these streams most of the time under rocks, and they're actually an apex predator of the streams for how relatively small they are compared to something like a fox or something. But they actually eat other salamanders, such as the uh, two-line salamander, the dusky salamander. So, there's something to be feared among salamanders, other than these guys. And both of these ones are pretty average size. This one is maybe the biggest I've seen. I think I've seen one bigger before. All right, so I got a good look at these guys. I got some pictures of the other ones the other day. So I'm just gonna let them go.